Right, today could be a good one because we're at the Nürburgring in the new Renault Sport Megane R26R, which is an even more mental version of the R26, which is a fairly mental car in the first place. And the whole reason that we're here is because Renault reckon this thing will go around the Nürburgring in 8 minutes 15 seconds. That is a phenomenally quick time. If it does it, I will be amazed. Okay, here we are with Head of Renault Sport UK in engineering terms, Steve Marvin. He's going to just talk us around the car a bit. What we concentrated on this car was really taking weight out of it. Uh, and we were looking to... Um, uh, the first thing we did was to decide that it was going to be a two-seater car, so we took out the rear seats. If you look inside, the weight-saving measures are a little bit more um, evident. We've got uh, carbon fibre seats, which are sourced from uh, Sabelt which are real competition seats. I can't help noticing that those windows look a little bit flexible in the back. Yes, as you can <laughs> notice, we've got polycarbonate windows. Uh, on the, with uh, a Nürburgring front. sticker on as well. With a Nürburgring sticker. That? Just about. They think this car is going to go around here in less than 8 minutes 15 seconds. A few years ago, 911s wouldn't go around here in that, that sort of time. Well, fact, yeah, when there are quite a few 911s that might struggle to go around that time now. I think you're probably right, yes. When we looked at the, um, at the list, there's uh, some quite interesting cars that, are, that take longer to go around the, uh, around the track than that. Right then. This is what we've come here for, this is what it's all about. This is a lap of the Nürburgring in the new R26R, which, not in my hands, but in the hands of one of Renault's experts, who I hasten to add, has been practicing here for the last week, trying to get his times down to a perfection has just gone round this track well I'm amazed, it's just gone round this track in 8 minutes 17 seconds and it is an absolutely baking hot day Brakes to fourth, just grab third through here. This is a very tricky corner. This car makes absolute mincemeat out of it. You really do notice the, the fact that they've taken all this weight out of the car. That's the rev limiter, I don't want that. This is an absolutely evil part of the track down here. You've just got to let the circuit flow with you rather than trying to attack it, otherwise you will smoke the armco before you can say, oh sh**. <clears throat> Slowest corner on the circuit, second gear. Now we come down to Adnau Bridge. This is really tricky, this bit. Very easy to outbreak yourself coming down here. <laughs> As you can see, one of my colleagues who will remain nameless but who is extremely tidy at the wheel of, well, anything really. Ended up sticking an F40 in the tyres there once. And unfortunately it wasn't even his. The bloke who owned it was sitting next to him. Okay, up to Bergwerk, this is where Nicky Lauda had his not so nice moment with the bonfire. Don't know what that corner's called, do know what this one's called, it's called the carousel. You fly into here, you aim at some tree over there, and then just pitch it in. And hang on. 
Oh, it's so bumpy. I don't know if you get an idea of that on the camera, but it's just violent, that corner. Down to Brunchen. And another bit where you can really make up time on someone who's got a lot of power and doesn't really know what to do with it. Just keep it in third gear there, even though it sounds a bit messy because it goes on the road limit. I really don't want to go up to fourth. Same here. God, this thing is fantastic over this piece of track. Even if I'm not. Tyres have come up now as well, which is nice. Going a bit quiet here because I'm concentrating get it wrong on this bit of track the accident goes on for the next century never know what this corner's called but it's always quicker than you think so is this one because it's more runoff area now that was quite a day I must admit I'm not sure I've ever driven a front wheel drive car that handles better than this. It's absolutely sensational and it's the lack of weight. That's the absolute key thing, is the lack of weight. It's definitely the direction in which to go for stuff like this. You don't burn as much fuel, you don't have to have as big a brakes, you don't have to have as much power or torque or petrol fuel consumption. And yet you get a car that can lap the Nürburgring 8 minutes 17 seconds. It's fantastic. 